Encomium is the chosen word for this week's Word of the Week. If you're new here, though, I'll roll the clip for you. You'll pick up what's happening fairly quickly. I roll the dice, which leads us to the book, which leads us to the word. I then do what I can to really instill that word into both of our minds. So the words encomium. If you've never heard of the word encomium, that's okay. I've never heard of it either. Frankly, to be honest, I've never heard any of these words. En-co-mi-um. Yeah, it's a praise that's a little bit over the top, a little bit more extreme. It's a word that you have done before, you have you just didn't know it. Or at least that's how it is for me. I've given an over the top. Fuck. Now me forgetting the definition already of encomium. Here's a fun fact for the sake of fun facts about this word. Mark Antony's encomium to dead Caesar and Shakespeare's Julius Caesar is one of the most famous encomiums of all time. Just thought it'd be cool to share that fun fact. Who cares if it's relevant? I've never really been in the Shakespeare atmosphere. Encomium has been happening right under our noses too. Take, for example, a banquet. At a banquet, each person who speaks tries to outdo the previous speaker before them with encomiums, with praises. They're all trying to honor each other. It's just a, it's a fuck fest of encomium. The origins of encomium trace back to ancient Greece. During this time, victorious conquerors were honored with a grand victory parade that ended in a lively banquet filled with dancing, music, and endless celebration. Over time, encomium evolved, whether through speech or writing, to mean any formal expression of praise. <laughs> Want to hear a fun fact about the fun fact? Well, that fun fact I mentioned earlier is actually during this moment right here when I'm reading that book. I thought it'd be pretty sick to have this, what I thought was dope little edit. Of me writing on the flashcard, recreating it so that it would look like as I was writing, it was also writing on the screen. That was a little fun <laughs> moment for me. As you can see here, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth than just writing a flashcard. So here I'm, I'm writing sentences down where you can actually apply a comium or insert a comium into, just in case you needed you know, some examples. I a load of this. So at this part here, I switch my hand grip because I had a friend who wrote like this in class. And I, I don't remember trying it back then, but I thought it was the most outlandish thing in the world. It almost reminded me of a caveman writing with a stick of wood. So because that popped into my brain, I thought, okay, let's give it a go. And as you can see, it did not go well. Yeah, his writing was better than my chicken scratch. So I can't say anything. Again, though, outlandish, outlandish behavior. Stop, stop it, enough of that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention for just one moment, please. We're here gathered today to honor Steva, who has just completed a 100-piece puzzle. Now, this isn't no ordinary accomplishment. It is a triumph of human intellect and perseverance. The way Steva placed each individual piece with care is nothing short of miraculous. Truly, guys, we are in the presence of greatness. Give a round of applause to Steva, please. Now that, my friends, is an example of an encomium, a celebration of someone's achievements full of admiration and praise. 